We're here at New Hampshire running back Dylan Lobby. Dylan, the first question is, you were one of the standouts of day one, man. We wrote on our website, I mean, there were people talking about you were the best player on the field. What does it mean to you? It's an honor, man. It's a blessing. Uh, just fun being out here, man. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, it's kind of been all my hard work kind of is now kind of coming in uh, to him this, and it's uh, it's an unbelievable experience, man. It's still such a surreal thing so far. What well, talk about your experience in New Hampshire, man? You did it all, all yeah. American, all purpose, all yeah. American kick returner. Yeah. You led the team in receiving. I mean, yeah. I think you led the country in receiving up to like week four. <laughs> yeah, five. I know. How did you develop all to be such a diverse athlete in the offense? Um, I think it was that's the thanks to all my coaches and my staff too, because once again we schemed that in the spring where hey Dylan, I think we want you in the slot more out wide as X, Z. Um, they trusted me as running back, but once again, that versatile player where they can uh, put me out wide can be super, super crucial for defensive schemes, so that kind of helps me a lot too. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what we just did. When you look at your career in New Hampshire, man, you guys kind of did it all. Yeah. I mean, made the playoffs, you won the CAA. Your number one memory from your, from your time in New Hampshire. Um, I think the biggest thing was, yeah, so my freshman year uh, prior, we made 14 straight years in the playoffs. And then when I got there, we had our first losing season in like 20 years. Um, and then back to back years of lo losing seasons. And then again, we had a, a six and five season. Um, and then my junior year, when we uh, finally went eight and three, won the conference, made the playoffs, that was such like a a special time for us. Um, it kind of just pay. Hey, it kind of built that culture back of, hey, like New New Hampshire is back. So when you look across the FCS, man, I mean, yeah. there's only four of you guys here, and yeah. all four of you guys started your career in the FCS, stuck with the FCS. Yeah, man. Was it ever consideration to transfer? And if and if not, what was it about New Hampshire that you just wanted to finish your career out there and never look for other options, as we see so many guys now? Um, I thought about it quickly, probably for like a couple days, just with the NIL stuff and all that stuff. I was like, huh, that sounds uh, pretty good. But then kind of just thinking about it, hey, like if you're good, they will find you. And I've always uh, stuck with that. And um, once again, like UNH was the only school that truly gave me a chance. So I always thought like, why am I going to turn my back on them now? So I stuck with them and I never looked back since, man. Man, I, I love it. And, you know, I'll talk to Isaiah about this. The chip on FCS guys' shoulders are huge in these yeah. events because coming in, everyone's like, oh, they're the small school guys. They, they act like you guys are different, and you guys show out every year. Every single year. Talk man. about your mindset getting to Mobile and wanting to show that you're not just a small school prospect. You're just one of the best prospects in general. Yeah, those top prospects that um, – come here they kind of always hey like they already think that they are the guys but for us we know that we have to show out every single day every single rep and those FCS guys just kind of just just shows that hey we have that grit and and that hard work and you know what man we're still hell of a player so yes. yeah so